The nature of hypocrisy is to see the sin of others more clearly than you see your own. And so what Jesus is doing here is the same thing Jesus does in the Sermon on the Mount when he says, why do you see the speck that's in your brother's eye, but you don't notice the log that's in your own eye? It's the same thing Paul does in Romans chapter 2 when he writes, anytime you pass judgment on another, you condemn yourself because you who judge practice the very same thing. Jesus is with this statement restoring a right view of God's law. God's law is not a tool of comparison. It's a tool of conviction. It's given to us to hold up a mirror and show us the reality of our sin. What Jesus is saying in saying this is, hey, God's law does not just stand against this woman in her adultery. It also stands against the man who was with her that you didn't bring to the conversation. It stands against the Pharisees in their hypocrisy. It stands against the scribes in their judgmental and critical spirit. If you're going to use God's law to judge another person, you better use it against yourself as well. John Calvin, in writing on this text, says this, Every man ought to begin by interrogating his own conscience and by acting both as witness and judge against himself before he come to others. In this manner shall we, without hating men, make war with sins. How do we make war on sin without hating, judging, condemning other people? Well, by acting first as witness and judge against ourselves. So the question this story forces every one of us to ask is this, do you have a clear sense of your sins? All of us have a clear sense of other people's sins, right? It's always easy to judge everybody else. Here's the question, do you have a clear sense? Do you have a present sense of your sin? This is necessary for gospel culture. For us to be a church that actually pursues Jesus together and pursues holiness and integrity together, each of us has to lead out of our own repentance. Like we lead by saying, here's where I need the grace of God. And so as a sinner, I can see the same thing in you as well. You know how I see it in you? Because I do the same thing. 